Welcome to our new series of tutorials for beginners on ACPT. In this tutorial, we will explore topics such as custom post types, custom fields, and custom taxonomies. If you're unfamiliar with these terms, don't worry. I will simplify them and guide you through using the tool to build a personalized and efficient WordPress website. If I go to the plugins, you will find that I have the ACPT plugin installed. Throughout this tutorial series, we will be using the Pro version. If you have not bought it yet, the link can be found in the description. Another plugin that I would recommend downloading would be the Classic Editor, and this takes away Gutenberg, the new editor in WordPress, to simplify the pages or posts. You could use Gutenberg if you want, but I'm more comfortable with the Classic Editor. There's a core framework as well for CSS variables and classes. Happy Files Pro for media management, WP Codebox for custom SAS, and WP Vivid for backups, but they're just for personal use and not necessary for this tutorial. After installing ACPT, we can proceed to create a custom post type, which will be our starting point. In this case, we will be setting up a new custom post type named Recipes, and we are going to use this to create a really simple, straightforward food recipes blog website. To create a custom post type, Navigate to ACPT and select the Custom Post Types option. Once there, you can proceed to set up your custom post types by clicking on Register New Post Type. This will give us all of the options, so first of all, we're going to give this a post name or slug. So we are going to call this Recipes, and a singular label of Recipe, and a plural label of Recipes. Select the icon you prefer for your custom post type. There is a wide selection of icons available, and you can also search for specific ones. As our custom post is related to recipes, we will look for an icon that fits. This support feature allows you to easily activate or deactivate the standard default elements commonly found in the post and page sections of WordPress. These elements include the post or page title, editor, featured images, and excerpts. While these features are turned on by default, you have the flexibility to disable them if necessary. Proceed by selecting the Next button. This section is dedicated to labels, which can be accessed within WordPress. If you wish to customize these labels, you can do so in this section. In this tutorial, we will activate the hierarchical option, even though we may not use it immediately. We plan to explore this feature in upcoming sessions. Just activate it and leave all other settings as they are. If you wish to change the menu position where the custom post type appears on the left side, you can adjust it here. This feature has been improved since the release of ACPT version 2. Once we have completed all necessary tasks, we should click on Save and wait for the page to refresh. Next, Let's take a look at the left side menu where you will find our newly created custom post type displayed with the chosen icon and assigned menu location. This just really shows the basic layout. We can add a new recipe, and this simply looks the same as any other post type you create inside WordPress. The title, the content, the author, and the featured image. And this is going to operate the same way as you're used to when it comes to working with standard WordPress.